Welcome back to our casual playthrough of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is Jakarasa with Real Gamers. And uh, we are on top of the Temple of Time. We're going to go ahead and try and get the, the Zelda Dragon. Um, I'm not sure where it goes, actually. Um, also, we're looking for the fifth and final Sage. And I had a thought. Um... I know that, well, based on uh, some stuff that I've heard and seen, uh, mostly from Carnivorous Kale, um, who's also part of Game Gamers, um, I know that he already has that sage, um, and I know that at the time that he got the sage, he only had one other sage, so there's obviously some other way to get there. Um, I also know that the uh, that other sage uh, he, at that time that he had gotten that sage he had only actually explored just the eastern half of hyrule um and he he told me that it was found in the depths but he didn't tell me exactly where but i just know that he'd only explored eastern half um that being said plus the uh, little tips we've been getting here um, about, well, just some things I've pieced together. Um, we've got, uh, well, basically, now that we know that, um, that Zelda is a fake, the one we've been seeing is a fake, and everybody knows it, um, it's possible, it could be, that we need to go to Kakariko. Um, because the only thing that's keeping us from going down or from having those ruins, which is one thing they mentioned, um, be used, is that there's, uh, that Zelda said not to use it. So if they know that it's a fake, there's that she's a fake, then we'll be like, oh, well, then why are we stopping? Maybe we should actually do something because that fake was an evil fake. So, you know, maybe it is the Kakariko Ring Ruins, um, the only thing kind of stops me there is that I know Carnivore's Kill got it before getting everything else, and so they didn't know, and so how did he get in? So I, I don't know about that. It's, it seems like it's a very good possibility, though, that it is around Kakariko. Um, still can't see that dragon. Where did that dragon go? Looking too high? Can't remember where they're at or where she's at. Huh. Hmm. I'm not sure. I was hoping to get the master sword. But if I can't see the dragon, how am I supposed to do that? Also, another reason to go to Kakariko is that uh, Impa, when we talked to her at the Freedom Temple, said that she was going to go back to Kakariko. So, I figure if nothing else, even if uh, even if the last sage isn't there, at least there's something going on over there with Impa, probably, um, that can help us out. Yeah, I am not seeing... No, that's birds, turn it. Um, I'm not seeing that dragon. You know what? That's... That's the one with this resurrection shrine, right? Room of Awakening, that's right. It's not the resurrection shrine. That's higher up than anything else. Let's go up there really quick. I'm just going to take another maybe a couple minutes, maybe not even, just to look around up here, um, you know, get out of the cave and then, and then look around. Um, if I don't see the, uh, if I don't see the dragon at that point, then there's really no point in that. But you know what? I bet it's faster to go back that way. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, 
I mean, can I just go through? What is this? There's a croc of all time? What? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Huh. Okay, let's see where this takes us. Drumsticks. Oh, there's these guys up there. Okay, well that battle over before it started. Okay, if I can't see the dragon from here, then she's not around. I'm sure she follows some sort of path, just like all dragons seem to do, at least they did in Breath of the Wild. I am not seeing that dragon. I mean, sorry, bird. Or whatever you are, flightless bird of some sort. But I could uh, risk having you run into me. Zelda's at. She's down or up. I don't know what path she follows, even where to look. This is the, the highest vantage point that I can find, at least that I know of. There might be higher ones in other parts of the world, but this seems, seems to be pretty high. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just wait for this Blood Moon to finish and then take a quick look around after that, see if maybe the Blood Moon called back the dragon. If it didn't, we're just going to head to Kakariko and we'll find the Master Sword some other time. Is that a different blood moon? Dude, did I just skip something different? Because it didn't start out the same way. Huh. Maybe I need to let the blood moon play out next time. That's interesting. Anyways, dragon, dragon. Any dragon at all. Nothing. Yeah, I'm not seeing this dragon. I'm going to just check basically the four corners here and see if I can see anything, but if not... Now we're going to head over to Kakariko, but... Um, Temple of Time. I mean, when 
when we were first up here, the dragon kind of went up and down through the through the barrier, the cloud barrier. I'm assuming the dragon normally flies lower. I could be totally wrong. Okay, well, let's head to Cut Rico for now. We will come back to the Master Sword eventually. Let's take no. Where did I go? There it is. All right, let's head to Cut Rico and see what's over here. Hopefully, there's something here. Hopefully, it's not striking out here too. <laughs> At least with the dragon, I know that the dragon's there somewhere. Just not at the right time, I guess. This one, I'm just kind of chasing stuff. Now here, what do I need to do first? I try to get to the floating ruin. Or should I go talk to Impa? Maybe I'll go ahead and try and get to the floating ruin thing. No. Really floating, but is it that one that needs to? Which is the one we're not supposed to go to? It's been a while since I've been here. This is nice. No, that's not it. Must be that one over there. Okay. Hey, you there. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to talk to you. We don't need to stop. We don't need to do this anymore. Yeah, what you heard, blah blah blah. Oh. To Zelda's orders. You heard me for Zelda came out to Kakuri of the other day and told everyone to stick around ring of them. She left in her, so I didn't quite catch the why of it all. As you sure only noticed, these ruins could come crumbling down at any time, so folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where her concerns were coming from. Oh come on, seriously? Hiya. Let me tell you stuff. Mr. Link, good evening. Oh. Are you thinking about the floating ring run? I am as well. It has been on our minds for some time. Mm -hmm. We'd like to suggest resuming the research if we may. Have you since figured out what became of Princess Zelda? Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. This is exactly what I was worried about, or hoping for. <laughs> well, what? The Zelda who appeared after the people was a creation of the Demon King? And the real Princess Zelda still hasn't been found? But how can this be true? Mm. It's such an unbelievable tale, and yet... I trust you completely, Master Link. It must be as you say. It is hard to explain. The princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. Mm -hmm. But if she was an imposter the whole time, that would mean the real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring room was because the Demon King saw it as a threat. Isn't that right? That only means one thing. We should investigate the floating ring room immediately. Good, good, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. There is no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once, Mr. Taro. Go uh, on, just tug it on the line. Time to reel in some results. <laughs> a fishy metaphor. He, your Luralin phrasing is coming through, Mr. Taro. You must really be pleased. That makes sense, Luralin. Okay. Aww. It's just, hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Oh. It's clear that the interior of this ring ruin is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. If the contents of the other ring ruins are any indication, there should be a stone slab inside engraved with some nice script. Well, let's find out. Mm. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage these precious ruins. <laughs> oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. I'd better hurry and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruins. Okay, have fun.
Secret of the Ring Ruins. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go figure stuff out. Oops. Okay, good. Oh, there we go. Thought I couldn't get close enough. Side. Oh yeah. Uh, let's just take a picture of this, maybe. There we go. Okay. Nice. Anything else in here? I don't know how to get out now. Well, I guess I can go through the ceiling again. <laughs> that shouldn't be an issue. This is a little disorienting. Is that the only thing here? Yeah, it looks like that might be the only thing here. Where are you going? Oh, there you are. Wrong way. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, it looked like you disappeared into the ring. That can't be right. Oh, I forgot I said it. I must imagine it. What about this image? <laughs> What's this you've got? Huh? Could it? Could it really be? Oh, oh yeah. Call it. Look at this. Okay, so now if we put them all together, what do we get? Could this be the interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow, the stone slab is so clearly visible. Ah. There appear to be zoning inscriptions on this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins. Taro, if you would. Ah. Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm, promise, Zelda, solemn assigned, Minru, sage of, hide the key, southeast, interest, future, wish, defeat, demon king. That's all I can make out. There's a modern I can't figure out before southeast, but Minru seems to be someone's name. Before southeast. Look at the context of Minoru. I do believe this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda and a demon king. How fascinating. Aha! Uh -huh. The inscriptions are telling us all sorts of essential information. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just that part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Hmm? Oh, you're right. Paya knows her stuff. This should be read as Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. Well, thank goodness I've proven useful. It seems my continued zoning language studies have paid off. Oh no, I'm being upstaged. <laughs> Ahem. Wait, wait, wait. Something about a Dragonland in the Southeast? Hmm, how familiar are you with Southeast Hyrule? There's a site in Farron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs on those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. Makes sense. <laughs> oh ho, call it great catch. The Zonai ruins in Farin. There's a good chance that's exactly what this is pointing us at. Mm. That's our call it fantastic work. I, I, what did you just say? <laughs> that this inscription is pointing us toward Farin Zonai ruins? Oh. No, not that, the next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with fan and ended with tastic. What was it again? Ah, fantastic work. <laughs> yes, fantastic work. That is what you said. Hmm, yes. Okay. <laughs> Callup, what fantastic work you said. Fantastic me. Anyways, Link, when we put together the script on the stone slab and translate it, we get definite mentions of the Sage Minero, the Demon King, and someone with the princess name Saint well, with the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zone Ruins in Southeast Hyrule. We've landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. Now we've no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. <laughs> Kalep, will you join me? 
<laughs> well, of course, I'd be a, a hen. Fantastic addition to the team. Now, come on, don't get too full of yourself. <laughs> Very good. With that settled, let's be off to the Zillion Ruins and Fern. First, we head southwest. We establish a base in the Popola foothills of the Skyview Tower by the by the ruins. Okay. Guess we go there then. In search of new discoveries, <laughs> we make for Farron. Okay, so let's go there first. I'm glad this one's bearing fruit at least. I don't. <sighs> they left just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. I must study more about the Zone civilization so I don't fall behind Taro and Kalip. I mean, that's not really your job, you dead. Yet it seems somewhat frivolous next to the mystery of the real Princess Zelda's whereabouts. I don't doubt that she is safe and well, I must believe that. As chief of this village, I can't leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda will return to us soon. Yep, I, you're the chief. You don't need to go gallivanting off somewhere. Okay. Let's go ahead and meet up with them down here. Okay, so if I'm right in my thoughts, um, where are those Farron Ruins? Is this it? That was somewhere around here. This is like a dragon head, right? Yeah, I think this is it right here. Well, let's go here first, since that's where they're going. Um, so I'm assuming that with Carnivorous Kale, what he probably did is uh, he just stumbled upon it in his exploring. He is the type of person to just explore and explore and explore, and he always has had a fascination with the Farron region, so that makes sense that he would have stumbled on it and just dropped in there or something. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's probably what happened. It's probably not something that you have to wait for. Well, I know it's not something you have to wait for since he had that, uh, he had that sage we getting the other before getting most of the others. Um there we go. Of course it's raining. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, so you're here. Came to learn about the zoning from an expert, I gather. I should welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It might not seem like much next to that Skyview Tower, I'll concede. Oh. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Taro has already gone off to the Zonai ruins. Memory spoke serves. He spoke of starting his investigation around Rakozu Lake. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that's on the map. Go southeast, and you should find the Zone Ruins. He volunteered to inspect. I'm curious if the Dragonland written of at the Ruin King, a Ring Ruin, will have any more leads of on the Demon King or Princess Zelda. Ordinarily, I'd be right there at his side in the field, of course. But I'm worn out from setting up the base. I'll need some hunger to break before I begin my own survey. Goodness me, is there anything at all that slows down Taro? <laughs> Okay, um, wait, wrong way. Uh, that way. Still don't know where this, uh, or how to get to this specific, whatchamacallit, um, thing. There's a shrine here somewhere. Yeah, Dracozu Lake is down here. Okay. Maybe a little more this way. Go up over these mountains. Great. You know what? I'm gonna grab these high herb, herbs, herbs, whatever you say. I'm not British, so I guess I'm supposed to say herb. I don't know. Let's just jump in here. We'll use this as a shortcut. We'll go that way. Okay, I've on that one. Ooh, I think it's the fairy one. And you know what? I need something besides Zora armor. <laughs> um, I think this is the one that's the best as far as power goes. I get that one on. I don't need cold stuff, so I'll just grab my strongest stuff, I guess. Okay. Yep, there's fairies. I missed. There. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, where are you at, fairies? There you are. There's usually three of them here. Oh, come on. Nope, I don't want that. Where'd you go? Oh, I stood up because I went down in the water. Darn it. So that one's lost. There's this one over here. Nope, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. There we go. There's the other one there. Okay. Come on, just come down. You try standing up and jumping, but there's no guarantee that'll work. Come on. Why? Alright, I just can't waste this much time. So... Nope, I missed it. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go over here to Farron. Actually, where am I compared to where I'm supposed to go? Oh, I'm directly north of it. There's a shrine right there. It looks like he's over there. Let's go ahead and take the shrine out. There no. I was thinking there would be a uh, what you call it, a uh, stable around here somewhere, but I guess not. And this is kind of out of the out of the way. All right, time for the shrine. Built for rails. Okay. I mean, I guess I could just... Oops, not this one. This one. I could just grind them on my sh with my shield, but... Might as well take the easy way. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Oh. Should I get out? <laughs> and they had extra things up there. Well, that was a bad idea. Let's... ooh, what's this? Oh, okay. It's a good thing I stopped getting on. <laughs> oh, wait. Nope, it's not a grabbable one? Okay. Okay, here we go. What is this? 
Sticky elixir. Interesting. I wonder why that's here. Oh, wait, it's Fern. <laughs> I should explain everything. Fern rains way too much. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking I need something to balance this so it doesn't fall off. So. Wait, there. I do this. I really wonder if this would just be a lot easier if I just used my shield surfing. I do like doing these the way they're supposed to be done. Sometimes that's not possible just because, you know, some of these are just annoying. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's grab these and put them closer to the middle. Increase the stability of it too. Okay, run quickly. Oh, by the way, did I get the? Yeah, that was the only, only chest. Okay. This is pretty cool. Nice. Okay. Now, do I need that again, or can I just go up here and use stuff up here? Oh, yeah, I can use stuff up here. Okay. Which one do I want to use? See, the left one. Does that end right there? Oh, it jumps. Either way, jumps. And they both go up there. So, I want to be on the left one, I think. Wait, okay, this one. Same basic concept, just kind of put fans on it. Maybe a lot of things. I mean, this one shouldn't go. Oh, crap. It doesn't have the same concept. Well, kinda. Hmm. Oh wait, neither of them line up. Huh. I want something that goes in the middle? No. Hmm. This one's an interesting conundrum. How does this line up over here? I'm in the middle. If I do that, that might work best actually. Let's try that and stick a few fans on there. Shrines, batteries free, so I guess the more power the better. Right? So just stick all three fans on, I guess? <laughs> well, let's try this. Worst thing that can happen is I'm going to fall to my death. I 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I think I got it. I could probably just jump from here and make it. But I'm kind of want to see this go through. <laughs> Alright, this wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. As long as I make it. <laughs> Let's see if I make it. Oh yeah, okay. Plenty of clearance. Alright, that was cool. That was actually a pretty fun shrine. I liked actually doing it the right way. It's nice to, to kind of figure things out. I enjoy that. Alright, what number is this? Two. <laughs> Got a ways to go before my next one. Okay. Alright, we're down to a little under 10 minutes left in this episode um, based on what I want to do. So... We will see what we can do in those 10 minutes. Oh, of course it's raining. Um, it is the right way, though. Oh, wait. There's a guy over here. That's right. I've never seen this guy before I got in. Okay. Here for you. Even wet. Well, what should I do with this one? Or anything oh yes there is something obvious this one has a thing has an extra stand here which makes a lot of sense actually um dude gosh be sufficient dude stop being scared Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Let go. Oops, come on. <laughs> it's hitting me too fast. Yay, he's standing. Okay. Dude, how could you have never thought of it? You purposely made it with a little thing on the bottom that I could put a rock on. Like, seriously. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I don't think this guy's very smart. <laughs> There's that. Electro mushroom rice balls. Nice. Okay. Ah! And sleep like Yeah. Okay. I should probably start using oh. those. <laughs> you know? That way I can at least sleep at a stable. Oh, dude. It always throws me off that it's, like, not quite... Like, it always moves the things I use. Just slightly. Okay, I'm assuming that light is where I need to go. Oh wait, there's a thing here. Well, I was right, the light's right. Ooh, this is nice and big. Um, as stupid as sticky lizards are, let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> Aha, you came after all. Of course I did. I figured you would after you made that breakthrough with the ring ruins. Listen to this. I've already got a whopper of, of a discovery on my hook here. Here, look at this. <laughs> it's a Zonai mural complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might be ascribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try deciphering it. But some of it still eludes me. Maybe it's a poem or some kind of code, perhaps? Here, I'll read it out loud so we can both get on the same page. Huh. The first part says, Wear the electric garb hidden at longed neck dragons along the wide-mouthed forest serpent. Or hidden at long neck dragons along the wide-mouthed forest. Okay, the wide-mouthed forest serpent. That was on the map. That's It looked like it was like a serpent kind of eating the dragon thing. Longed neck dragons. Huh, okay. What do you make of four serpent and dragons there? Mm -hmm. To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these runes designed to look like dragons. Four serpent, though I haven't seen any designs like that. You haven't seen from the sky. <laughs> what am I missing? What other wide-mouthed four serpent is there? Maybe, hmm, the four serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Drakozu River to a forest dragon. But anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep reading. Aww. 
Next it says, offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. I'm pretty sure I got that right, but I have no idea what it means. Aww. What in the world is a Zonai charge, and where is this tail with an altar? If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. There's one other thing I'm curious about. Oh. I should have mentioned this, but I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these ruins. Judging from the shape, I think there's something inside, but I can't get it open. Can't crack the code, can't get the box to open. This just isn't my day. I'll take care of that. <laughs> Good thing they mentioned he mentioned that, because else I would have just headed out the door. Charged a shirt. Nice. Stormy weather attack. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Okay, so now, this is the mouth. Twin dragons, so I need to find the two long dragons. You know what, what was that? Um, where the electric, go oh wait, this is the, along the wide mouth forest serpent. Okay. So I guess this is the electric garb. I thought it was going to be like a rubber armor, because that's what I was thinking from the last one, uh, from Breath of the Wild. But, but no, electric garb. Long neck dragons. Is that? Yeah. Long neck dragon. That's a huge dragon. Okay. So now I got to go to. Oops. I guess I should probably wear that garb, right? As much as it takes me down, but and I gotta go to the tail. Oh great, there's some Zolfos in there. because it's raining. Ow. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't reach him. There we go. Alright, you're dead. Black is off as four. No, there's more of these. Dude. Um, let's do this. Office horn. Okay, here's another one. Is this at the tail? It's kind of at the tail. Well, whatever, sticky lizard. Don't care for you, anyways. Oh, 
Oh, charged trousers. Okay, so I'm supposed to wear these too. I'm going to find a charged helm. Okay, well, before I head out, that is the end of this episode. I've gone to my time limit here. don't want to go too long. Um, let's switch back, though. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was... Uh, that was a fun one, actually. I enjoyed it. I mean, the first part was kind of boring because I was looking around for the dragon. But other than that, <laughs> figuring out Kakariko and then coming here, that's been pretty cool. So anyways, next time, hopefully we're going to find the entrance to uh, the fifth sage, wherever they are. Um, and then we will go from there. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.